On May 7, 2022, officers with Sumter County Sheriff's Office were on patrol when they saw a golf cart with no lights traveling on the roadway. Hello, ladies. Hi. Do you have a driver's license on you? I don't know if I have it with me. To be honest with okay. Do you know where you're at right now? Well, we're a little lost. Like this. Okay. Are we not supposed to be on this road? Correct. You're not supposed to be. You're not supposed to have a golf cart on the roadway. Well, we're following this app. This is the golf cart app. I don't know what to tell you. You're not from here? No, we're not. Okay. We've only been here two days. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we're following this. And, and, and on top of that, you have no lights on. I don't. Do you have yours with you? I have a license. Yeah, I'm, I said also your vehicle light. The golf cart lights are not even on. So, gotcha. So are you renting something? Are you yes. down for the weekend? Like yes. B&B. Okay, are you both from Wisconsin? Yes. yes. And where are, you, so, where are you guys coming from? Uh, we were at the square. At, uh, the one right up here? Yep. Yes. Okay. So we're just following this app. Miss Colleen, go ahead and step back here for me. Have, we need to have a conversation real quick. So, here, I'll, I'll have you so you don't have to face the lights. Go ahead and let's, yeah, there you go. So it's a little more easier for you. So let me ask you this. How much alcohol have you had tonight? Uh, I've had at least two drinks. Okay. Uh, what what kind of drinks were they? Long Island iced teas. Okay. And how long ago was your last one? Um, we probably started drinking at like 7 o'clock. But when's the last one you had? Not when you started. Maybe 9 o'clock. Okay, so it's been two hours since you had your last drink? I think so, yeah. Okay, did she have anything to eat tonight? Earlier this morning, or earlier in the day. So and nothing? Not for since I had alcohol, no. Okay, so, so let me re-explain to you what I do. Okay, I specialize in DUI. Okay. All right, so I'm the DUI unit for the Sheriff's Office. Deputy lets in statements. I specialize in DUI and I am the DUI unit. Stay till the end of the video to see how her statements played out in court. I could smell it. Both of you guys have been drinking. I can see both of you. Your eyes are bloodshot, glassy, okay? Which that's what I noticed right off the bat. And then I can smell the alcohol. So I want to make sure that you're safe. Well, first of all, we got to get you off the roadway and on a golf cart path on there to figure out where you're at. But in order to do that, I need to make sure you're safe to drive this golf cart. In order to do that, we have to do field sobriety exercises to make sure you're not impaired. Because the difference between impairment and then having some alcohol is you can still have alcohol, you just can't be impaired. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So, and everybody's body is different. That's why we use the exercises to determine stuff like that. Okay. okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I, I want to make sure cause we're going to use this road on this lane and we're going to use the car's block. So I want to make sure it's safe. I'm going to pull this golf cart up a little bit. I'm going to have you stay here. I'm going to have her sit in the car, and then we'll just do it right here. So that way we can get you out of here, okay? I don't want to choose how to drive her. No, no, no. I'm a... Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. want her doing it either. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. That's the reason so, um, Miss Carrie, come here for a minute. You want to move it? Yes, please. Just move it up. I'm just going to have this deputy just move that golf cart up. I okay. didn't want you. I don't, honestly, I've never driven a golf cart, so... Is it turned on? Yeah, this is our first well, time. Well, prior to two days ago, I never took a golf cart. Yeah. Really? Is yeah. it that easy? Well, it's not that difficult. I mean, I've never seen her before, it's, so... It's, honestly, it's we like hard to navigate. You, how to do it. <sighs> you have to put it into reverse. Oops. There you go. on the bottom. Ooh. Oh. Right there. Well, that's a little far. Like, you're going to have to jog back, but I'm just saying. Yeah. I want to make sure she's okay to drive to get onto the golf cart path. So, I'm gonna Miss Carrie, I'm going to have you um, go ahead and sit back into the golf cart. And then as soon as I uh, finish up Miss Colleen, I'll send her back over. All right. Just hang tight for me real quick. Turn these lights off so they're not blinding us. 
So you said you're in town visiting uh, Airbnb from yes. Wisconsin. Has first time ever been in Florida? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Have you ever been out of Wisconsin otherwise than that? I've been out of Wisconsin, but never to the villages. Oh, so you specifically came to the villages? Yeah, we did. We wanted to check it out. Okay. All right. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Yes. All right. All right. Do you see this light? Yes. What color is that light? Green. All right. So here's what I'm going to do with the green light. I'm going to move it back and forth, all right? And I just want you to follow the green light with your eyes, but do not move your head. Do you make, does that make sense? Okay. All right. Ready? Yes. Just don't move your head. Keep your head directly straight, okay? Where are you looking at? You. Well, my light's over here and you're looking over there. Don't try to just look at the light and follow wherever it goes. Don't try to beat the light, okay? okay? All right. So when I tell you to, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down your straight line. When you get down to your ninth step, you're going to make a series of small turns, and I'll show you what that looks like. And then you're going to return nine heel to toe steps. Do you understand so far? All right. Let me show you what heel to toe looks like, okay? So we're going to, so I'm going to go ahead and put yourself back in that left foot and right foot in front. I'm sorry. It's okay. It, if you happen to step out of that position, you just put yourself back in it. Okay. If I can't do this, can you just move on to the next step? But I don't understand what you mean. Meaning what if I can't do this? What can't you do? Do the, the test you want me to do. Well, there's several of them on there. They're designed to, like I said, they're designed to, to measure if you're impaired or not. On and there. I understand that. Uh-huh. And I do feel that I'm probably impaired. Okay. So, last one. Whew. This one's easier. Uh, well, I say it's a little bit easier. So this one, you're going to count backwards, though. This is going to be your numbers. All right, this is the very last one. So what I want you to, what you're going to do the same position. You're going to close your eyes, tilt your head back. But you're going to start at 30, and you're going to count down. So 30, 29, 28, 27, all the way down to 1. All right. Okay. When you get to 1, tilt your head back up, open your eyes, and that I'll know that you're finished. All right. Okay. So go ahead and close your eyes, tilt your head back, and begin. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. Alright, so right now you're being placed under arrest for driving under the influence of an alcoholic beverage or anything listed under Chapter 893 in the Florida State Statute. We're going to get down to the jail in a second. I'm going to ask you to provide me with a breath sample. Will you provide me with a breath sample? Yes, I have no choice. Right? You do have a choice. And when we get down to the jail, I'll explain it. So you, in Florida, you have a choice. All right. So we'll get down there. I'll read you what the verbiage is for that. It's called implied consent. And then you can decide down there whether you want to do that or not. All right. So we will make sure that Carrie is not left here on the side of the road. We're going to make sure to get her home. So... I'm going to get you in the back of the car. All right. So I'm going to have you sit. Have you really have to be best? Yes, ma'am, unfortunately. Yeah, you, you. There's a caution there for that. Here's the right off. Let me go get your shoes. All right. It takes about 20 minutes to get down to where we need to go. All right. And then the deputy's going to stay here with her and, and situate with that, okay? So just hang tight for me. And we'll be out here. She's not driving. We are going to figure out a way to get her home, okay? She will not be driving, so I don't want yep. her to be in that same situation, okay? Yep. Correct. Okay. Hang tight for me. So let me explain. All right, so Miss Colleen has been placed under arrest for driving under the influence in the state of Florida, okay? So when she went through the field sobriety exercise, there's multiple indicators. She has had way too much to drink. So... She's going to go down to the Sumter County Jail, and, and the step is going to give you all the information, all right? We are going to help you get home because you can't drive the golf cart home either, okay? Because you've had something to drink, and I don't want you in the same position, all right? So 
Um, we're going to make arrangements. The address she gave me is where you guys are staying? She's there. Correct. Here. Okay. So this golf cart gets towed on there. We will give you the paperwork where it goes. Um, she's going to give you the information where she's going on there. So there will be a bail. Are you familiar? I know she's never been arrested. Ha have you ever been around the process either? No. Or known known anybody? Okay. No. Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or anything. Just some, some people you just never know. Um, so in the state of Florida, when there's a bail, the bail is $1,000 for her. Okay. If um, you call a bail bondsman, which you can just Google Sumter County bail bondsman, any one of them, they will um, only allow, they will pay, hold on, was it 10% you have to pay? 10%. So it's $100 to get her out. So you're going to tow? So we have to tow this. Okay. And when so I, somebody has to go back, pick it up and pay the tow and. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how Airbnbs work. I'm not sure. We're going to give you the paperwork where it goes on there, so you'll have a copy of that on there. But like I said, once uh, tow truck comes to get this, this deputy will go ahead and take you to the house. Do you think can put this in front of me? Um, so here's, so they're not actually, what it is is you're twisting the wrist on there. So the easiest way, I can't put them in front, it's policy on there. So if you just sit si almost a little bit sideways on there. Like this one. Correct, like that. Yeah, because you can see they're not tight. It's just no. I know they're not tight. They're oval. It's just yeah, they're oval, and your wrists are oval. So when you go to move, yeah, it hits the sides on there. So the driver was handcuffed and taken to Sumter County Jail to undergo further processing. What happens with the fact that I'm not a Florida resident? It still affects your license. So whether it's, it's still going to affect your Wisconsin license on there. All right. So. This is Miss Colleen, she's signal one. Um, it, just golf cart driving down the road, no accident on there. So never been involved, period, in law enforcement. So told her we would explain every step as we went. All right. Yes. Um, during this time, we can't have you put anything okay. in or out of I'm asking you to take the breath test to determine how the whole is on there. If you refuse to take the breath test, your license will automatically be suspended for a period of one year, and you won't be able to do anything until that one year is up. So, for example, if you... Um, and that's true of Wisconsin, so I'm correct. The driver asks Deputy Letson, and that's true in Wisconsin as well, to which the deputy answers correct. This detail changes how the case turns out in court. So Wisconsin will end up suspending your license for that, for that period. Just try to keep your hands away from your face. Um, um, remember I can't have you put anything in or out your mouth until we complete this. No problem. That's what I'm here for, just to try to remind you. The driver was charged with driving under the influence. The charge was dropped after her attorney filed the motion to suppress. The judge approved the motion based on these facts. The deputy's testimony stated that she asked the defendant to perform field sobriety exercises, which directly contradicted the deputy's body cam footage, where the deputy told the defendant that she is a DOI expert and the field sobriety exercises, quote, have to be done, unquote leading the defendant to believe she had no option to refuse. And the deputy also told the defendant that her license would be suspended if she refused to do a breath test. Since Wisconsin is not part of the Interstate Driver's License Compact, her license was unaffected. The judge wrote, Deputy's inaccurate advice, which the defendant relied upon, rendered the breath test inadmissible.